here again in Kaduna, Nigeria to be precise, we just concluded an installation of 20 units of 615 watt solar panels from Jinko. You can see these are the panels. This time around, we, we designed a carport for the solar panels because uh, the client doesn't want the panels on the roof. So you can see the carport is very, very strong, very firm. It can carry me. You can see now we're about 62 kg. So uh, we don't have problem with weight since the stand is very, very firm. We have about uh, about six poles, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five poles to hold the solar panel. And each of these solar panels weigh about 32 kg, which is uh, not too bad. So I will take you guys inside to show you what we install inside. Here we have a 20 unit, like I said, of 615 watts from Jinko. This 20 unit of 615 watt solar panels makes 12,300 watt power. Now I'll take you guys inside to show you the inverters and the battery bank. Let's go inside. Two unit of 15 kilowatt hour lithium battery from Seaworth, making 30 kilowatt hour. Uh, we have six kVA here, another six kVA here. These two uh, inverters are, com are connected in parallel, communicating and working as one. So if you have uh, a load of 1,000 watts being consumed presently from this inverter, this guy will be handling 500 watts, and this guy also will be handling 500 watts, making it a total of 1,000 watts. Now outside we have. Uh, 20 unit of 615 watt solar panels from Jinko, and this inverter can only handle 6,000 watts. Uh, the reason why we use uh, the 20 unit of 615 watt solar panels because we know we cannot get 100% efficiency from each solar panel. So the 150 watts on top of the 6,000 watts is negligible. This guy is handling 10 units of 615 watts. This guy also is handling another uh, 10 units of 615 watts. So each of these inverter is handling about 6,150 watts, but like I said earlier, the 150 watts is negligible. That is the reason why we did this, because we know uh, the panels will not give us 100% efficiency. So we should have at least 5,000 watts or 5,500 watts coming from each PV. Uh, we did this video as early as 8 a.m. in the morning, and presently we are generating about... Okay, we are generating about 486 watts or 490 watts from the solar panel. The reason is because the weather is still dull and it's as early as 8 a.m. in the morning. So with this configuration, uh, since we use a uh, grid A solar panels, this battery should charge within the next, should get fully charged within the next three to four hours. But that also depends on the amount of load that will be on this very system. Having a total of 12 kV inverter, with a 30 kilowatt hour lithium battery, we should have at least two ACs of one horsepower working on these inverters overnight or on these batteries overnight and some appliances on. So the major load that will be on in this house will be the deep freezer, the fridge, uh, fans, lighting points, and one AC is supposed to work overnight. And aside that, they will be using their uh, water heater. So the water heater actually consumes about 1,500 watt, which is not actually much. That means if they are to own their water heater, some major appliances like the AC might be off if they want to, uh, uh, if they don't want their batteries to drain out on time. But actually, everything can be on. The process of completing the uh, uh, the carport or the stand for the solar panels, we use these inverters to power a 2,700 watt uh, uh, welding machine, their filing machine, and also uh, we were able to power uh, a mixer machine for the penters. So the inverter for those of you that have been doubting whether. Uh, all these transformerless inverter will be capable of handling industrial appliances. This is an evidence to tell you that as long as it's pure sine wave, it can work with any uh, appliance. So we tested it out with uh, a welding machine, a uh, filing machine, and a you know, mixer machine for penters, and actually everything was working fine. So each of the inverter was displaying 32%, which is in total 64%. It was draining out from these two inverter. So for those of you that have been doubting, now we've tried it out, you can use it in your industries or your factory.